Welcome. Today we are going to look at how to check dynamic content in your file. In some of the applications, you will get the files gets created at runtime and you need to verify the content what was there in the file we are going to compare with the previous run and look at both the files are same. So we are going to discuss how you can verify the content of a text file and compare. There is a, a dynamic content checkpoint with, in UFT. So we are going to look at that part. So I am going to create a GUI test. So let's create a new test and it's a GUI test. Click on create button. Okay, the test is created and now let's uh, just do recording. Alright, so I'll click OK and now I'm going to select here the file content checkpoint. Now I have to select the file. So I go to my system and then I'm going to select this particular file. This is a text file. So let's check this. Save open. And then you're going to get this. Okay, there is one line from this test. Okay, I want to verify this. And then so click OK button. And let's stop recording. So you see one checkpoint in the script. Let's run this because we didn't make any changes. So it's supposed to pass. Alright, the script is executed. It's very quick because it's a small file and you got the checkpoint that is passed. And it's going to tell like how many lines it checked. So now let's uh, open the text file and uh, let's try to change. So I'm going to add one more line here, say test123. How do you also add, say123 on the top. Save this file. And now let's try to run again the same script. Okay, it is quick. And now it says it is failed. And now let's go and look at, so what's the reason like why it's failed? So drill down to the checkpoint. Now it's going to tell. Hey, because of this, because this is what actually you are expecting, and this is the actual file. So it's supposed to be just QA test, but there is one thing that gets added, one to three, and also added one line. Okay, so it also tells like modified the first line, and also added one more line. So that way, it's going to add just change font how many how many on how many lines. Okay, so that way, yes, you can create a dynamic content, and you can do verification on this dynamic check. All right, so that's about like how you can verify the content of the files dynamically. Thank you. Bye and have a good day.